Hey guys, Dave the MMP. Doing a little work on Raspberry Pi in my garage. Uh, had a little problem with Victron OS. Um, there seems to be an issue with loading software and getting the touch screen to work properly uh, when you're using an HDMI screen. If you use the Raspberry Pi screen where it connects to the display port, then there doesn't seem to be a problem running the, uh, the touch screen. So let's take a look. Okay, so here's my little touch screen. And it's showing me voltage on my battery. I've got 14.4 on my battery. I don't have it hooked up to the smart shunt because the smart shunt's in the boat. No AC power right now. It knows what time it is. And I've just connected another battery. I'm using one of my rigid 18 volt batteries as my PV supply. And you can see it's pumping power into my regular battery. Um, so here's my MPP charge controller. And I've mounted the Raspberry Pi inside this box with the clear cover on it. So there's the Raspberry Pi. I'm just using a Raspberry Pi 4. It's not a very demanding uh, project as far as um, CPU requirements. It definitely doesn't require, require a Pi 5, that's for sure. And um, I just created a little gland here on the bottom. This is going to be in a really dry spot of the boat, so I just cut some holes, put some foam tape on here, and put a little slice in the foam tape and the cables are coming through the bottom. Instead of making individual glands for every single one of that, that gets a little pricey. I did that on the other box for the Raspberry Pi for the navigation system, um, but this is going to work out just fine. And so that's what my touch screen is going to look like in the, uh, in the boat. So now what I have to do is upload some more software to the Raspberry Pi so that the Venus OS will recognize it as a touch screen. Right now it just recognizes it as a screen. Um, if I'm connected to it to the remote portal, I can run it with my phone and that seems to work okay, but the touch screen part of it doesn't work. Okay guys, that's it for me. Give me a thumbs up like and subscribe and i'll see you guys next week for some more sailboat diy fun